in the book of second corinthians 5 from 1 the bible says for we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved we have a building of god and a house not made with hands but eternal in the heavens for in this we groan earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked for we are in this tabernacle to groan being burdened not for that that we should be unclothed but to be clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life now he that has wrought for us for the self same thing is god who also has given unto us the earnest of the spirit therefore we are always confident knowing that whilst we are at home in the body we are absent from the lord for we walk by faith not by sight we are confident i say and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the lord wherefore we labor that whether present or absent we may be accepted of him for we must all appear before the judgment seat of christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he has done whether it be good or be it bad my friends i want to submit to you that you look so glorious so beautiful you are wonderfully made but this your body is not qualified to go anywhere to him that is beautiful he should woe unto him to cry to she that thinks she is the finest woe unto her. This your body doesn't have qualification to enter heaven. Look upon the body. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it very well. This body doesn't have qualification to ascend beyond here. The last time you try to pass through this wall, you now realize your body is a limiting factor. Do you see? An angel does not need to feel this. He just passed. Realize that if actually you and i have come to a point of realization that we are going to return back to the lord in heaven we will know that we are can't return we can't return back like this do you know you existed in god before you are shooting to time do you know what you call your body was a development of biology do you know that what is speaking through me now has nothing to do with this I know you may be seeing me, Philip Cephas, but what you don't know is that I am not this body. I am the sound you are hearing. The voice. You see, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Everybody is known by his voice. And who you are is actually your voice. So, your voice is actually from the spirit. It has nothing to do with your body. And that is why demons don't care to know whether you are tall, whether you are slim, whether you are short, whether you are fat. They don't even care to know whether you are black, whether you are white. Demons operate generically. If demons want to oppress, they will oppress you whether you are in London, whether you are in the UK. You can be in Texas. You can be in Oklahoma. You can be in Ohio. You can be in Las Vegas. With all the street light and everything, and as you are moving, you can see a woman with a pot pursuing you with a knife. You can be in a house of glass, and you can see a spirit moving in granite peel, and it will appear through the glass and hit you like this. You can be there, and they will press your neck. Why? Because these realities are tangible in the spirit. And if you are ignorant of spiritual operations, you are an illiterate. You can be a spiritual illiterate. So when the Bible begins to speak about how we need to be present with the Lord, it's because our advantage truly lies in the spirit. And because our advantage lies beyond this realm, what we call our body needs to be clothed with immortality. So our body, which is a mortal nature, 
is what limits us to assess glory. What you call glory cannot be revealed in mortality. Glory can be revealed in immortality. So for the first time when we saw glory was when Adam and Eve were created. And when Adam and Eve were created, there was no need for clothes. Is that true? There was no need for anything because everything called glory was what covered them. And because glory covered them, they didn't even know that they are naked. So our awareness of nakedness was a realization of mortality. And it's part of the fallen state of mankind. And God has to bring us to a point where by his spirit, he gives us his spirit. So that we can become unconscious from this realm. And join into another realm of consciousness in God. So that we can return back to the consciousness of glory. Why do we speak in tongues? We don't understand what we are saying. But we are trying to bridge the gap of our mind. So that we take away absent from here. So that we can become present there. And translate glory here. So Jesus was at the Mount of Transfiguration and he began to pray. Say, Father, glorify me with the same glory that I have with you. That means Jesus came to a point he was tired of his mortality. And he said, Oh God, I knew you from immortality. Can you put upon me the same glory that I have with you before? That is to let you understand that everyone has a portion in glory in heaven. See, I know you are here. You feel you are the most carnal ladies. You cannot do without sleeping with a guy. You cannot do without smoking, young man. You cannot do without drinking. You cannot do without lying. You were not like that. In the beginning, it was not so. You were actually a product factor in glory. There was something about you concorded in glory. And that is why if you are careful to observe, your encounters are speaking otherwise. Because in the realm of the spirit, when you have an encounter, you see yourself and you wonder, is that me? You mean God truly is this me yes it's you but in the realm of the spirit it is your job to be able to translate this thing you are seeing about you to the physical every one of us can see more things about us in the spirit than in the physical that is why you can be having an encounter seeing so many things about you in the spirit and they look all glorious and beautiful but yet again physically they are not a manifestation why because there is I, there is a present reality there that you must traffic into this realm. So the Bible says God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So the blessings of God are actually in a place in Christ Jesus. It is my job, it is your job to bring it to this realm of existence. So speaking in tongues and praying in the spirit is more like a mechanism you use in transformer. If you have studied basic physics, you will know that light that you see that is being passed from the power station are not the same. Is that true? In fact, some of those high tension cable, they call them what? 33 kVA. Do you know if you carry leather and go and carry your wire, let's say we say we want to connect this fan to that 33 kVA, as you put it to you and the fan can fly. I learned of an awesome man that thought he's just he said neighbor they are disturbing every day so he just went and looked for something to that is a 33 kva that I passed by he so you feel if you get the wire and just put that's all the young man went to put and the thing fry him and the wire why because that what is the fact was step down the reason why you need a transformer is because the capacity of that electricity is too much sir. the voltage is too much so if you are to understand to make contact with it you may die it, but do you realize like that when it's something that doesn't have life in it, make contact with it, it will not nothing will happen. If you use something that is dry eh, and touch that thing, no matter how it is, if something that is dry, touch it, nothing will happen. You can use a dry wire and touch it, nothing will happen. But try to use something that has life, you'll be shocked. Why? Because the capacity of the voltage is too much. It requires a step down. So you have to be able to get a transformer and when you get a transformer the transformer converted to 240 volt right 240 volt this 240 volt is not as if it cannot shock you but it cannot kill you it can't fly you so for adventure this one you see we are using here now we call it 240 volt it was because a transformer stepped down the 33 kva and when it came down it now come to this point so that your fan can run your mic can run your keyboard can run but if you try to touch it now, that doesn't mean that that voltage will not do something to you. It will do. But you will hardly see somebody that died by this one. If you die by this one, it means your village people have converted it to that <laughs> Because this one was not designed to kill you. 240 volt was not designed to electrocute you for a moment and you will come back. But 33 kVA was designed to fly you. The other substation power one, that one, if it passed by you for a while, you can even have cancer. Because the vibration of that one that they transfer it to another country. If your house is if it's passing through your house, 
if you are not careful one day you will have radiation why because that one transfer will call alternative current it's not this again so you must be able to understand another transformer is required to step it down again so you can touch you can cut the wire of this keyboard this keyboard you can cut the wire and even touch it with your hand it will shock you do you realize that do you know you can touch the wire of this keyboard it will shock you your charger your charger that used to charge phone do you know you can touch you can touch that part it won't do anything because the transformer from the adapter step down this 240 volt to maybe 12 volt you see my point now so because the vote is stepped down to a different level you can be able to relate with it in the same way that if the holy ghost is allowed to pass through our mind our mind will explode because the current to which the power is coming so the bible says yes shall receive power after the holy ghost has come on. it's not as if you don't have power you have hope but that power can be stepped down to a point where you can use it when the holy ghost come because the holy ghost become like that transformer to be able to step it down at every point in time for you to be able to take advantage then imagine a believer that does not relate with the holy ghost does not engage the holy ghost does not exercise himself in the holy ghost even if you have power the power will even kill you because it will take the holy ghost to regulate the operation of the power so it's not by going to get a power i don't want to call it power a prophet said there is a power called Prahosi. another power called in the boski another there are all kinds of power he said he has used one the day he will unleash the other one we don't want to know the names of power we want to know the holy ghost because anytime power is mentioned in the in the scripture the holy ghost follow it because without the holy ghost power become anything anything can be power anything there is a realm of power without the holy ghost may you not be found there because power can kill because after a while it will be prahose that will look at him and say today i've come for you too say but i'm the in the boss you say me don't they <laughs> and they tell him power can jump power and greater power will kill the smaller power but by the holy ghost we join into a point where we convert the power to our advantage so i can be in cafe and i knew i needed the power to rule in my place of work so i can enter off his capital varia it's not the same tongues i'm speaking in church so when i'm speaking babila makwatia i'm looking here for revelation to preach but when i enter my office and i say Pira na makaki, badiaska, another transformer is engaged so when i go to my business place where i'm selling this and i'm shivra namaki zabria tosko it's another thing i'm doing differently if i'm traveling and i'm speaking in tongues it's another different thing i'm doing so the tongues may look similar but it's not all the same why because there is diverse kinds of transformer engaging to bring different level of glory so you must be able to understand that in your life by the holy ghost you join into the glory of god so the spirit of god was given to you so that you can utilize the glory of god what will you do with the holy ghost because one of the greatest advantage on the earth my friends is the holy spirit is the same spirit jesus have that they give is not a lower version <clears throat> it's the same holy spirit that Jesus has, Philip Cephas has, Apostle Victorious has, and his wife has, and my friend has, and all the other people have. My brother, you are an orphan without the Holy Ghost. So you must come to a point where you utilize him again and again. I bring you a last story, then we pray. A house filled of all kinds of witchcraft. Witchcraft! Enter relationship. Just go and meet the lady and tell her you love. All of them in the family are so fine. But the day you ask her out, that day you can't sleep again. Because the witches and wizards in the family will come and meet you. Ah! You are part of us now. So any guy that go there, we saw the, we, he will see the lady chasing him with, a, with an arrow at night. And when the man is seeing you chasing him with an arrow at night, he will come and tell we need to talk in the daytime. The reason why we need to talk is not because of anything. Because there is a womb inside of you that has carried darkness. And you have not dealt with these altars. And these altars speak even in those times. And because of that every man that come they come at night they see something chasing chasing them it was because another level of darkness was engaged until one day one of the lady in the house got filled with the holy ghost when she got filled with the holy ghost she now realized she has been missing something for so long so she came to the house every day what are you doing i don't just know but i just feel like praying say what are you doing i don't know but and in the day somebody has come to beckon upon her to marry to make the matter worse because sometimes what the devil do is that he try to connect people that come from the house of battle to marry those that have battles so you can be from the house of battle 
and you marry another lady from the house of battle so that the battle can be transformed be transgenerational there are some of you that your parents are there to the paraventure your father was a pastor so all through his life he suffered and prayed so much so he could not enjoy so you the inheritance was transferred to you so now when you just stand here you just think hey no he i don't know everybody going to anoint him. you are enjoying the grace of your father and you don't use to pray oh. if you finish it in a book then you came here everybody fast and pray when they came here they, they will have to sweat sweat before they sing a song they will speak in tongues kapa, tapa, tapa, tapa. you will just come hello him everywhere open you are spending the money the grace that somebody has labored so you can come and tell us it's not by prayer we understand because we know where you are coming from you are coming from the advantage of your father there are people that in nigeria they are not working it's my father money my mother money i'm enjoying it they enjoy now your mother own we will be say we know get more than father uncle we know that our own is hard to work we must to go, 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 go. <laughs> so we cannot come and be like you it's a lie know where you belong and know your battle and fight them well in the day isaac wake up he went and looked for his father well the philistine came and said this one are your father where they content and catch it he went for the other one they carry he went for that day. he has to look for a place and begin to dig his own well when he did they could not collect this one because this is who about this is the one he dug do you realize that there are some of you that if we check five years down your generation your father was an idol worshiper your mother used to visit a sanguma she used to visit a babana in fact paraventure even you they went and they, the day they gave birth to you they carry you and left you in a shrine you slept there for two days and they, 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 if I please bleed upon you, he pour cola, not pour wine, pour everything. If I saw them, he used to lie upon the babies. Some of you, they like Juku, they put you inside river. They left you for the marine kingdom. So you became like them. You did not die. After four days, the parents come and carry you say, a warrior is born. No, he's not a warrior. He's demonically possessed being is born. So you wonder why every day you behave like a serpent, like a fish, like a snake. A kingdom has entered inside of you. So when you check down the line, your father did not carry Bible. Your mother did not carry Bible. Or oh, your mother was a ganja planter. Your father was a ganja planter. And out of ganja planting, both of them marry. And from ganja planting, they marry together. In fact, when they were sleeping with you, they drink carnival, gulda, star lager, they smoke. So you are a union, a transfer of all kinds of possibilities. So you wake up at the age of two, you begin to desire the smell of alcohol. So you don't know why every day you go to party, you can dance from morning to evening. And you are not tired. You come to church, you flying your hand like this. I want to, what are they doing here? What happened is that there was a transfer of an impactation. So your reality is activated in the club because that is where your reality is. So anytime a guy comes and says, Club, you can even leave church and go. Why? Because an altar is speaking. And the goal of the devil is to find somebody just like the way your mother is and your father and connect you with it so that it can be transferred. God wants to give birth to godly seed, the devil wants to give birth to demonic seed. So that the kingdom of darkness can continue to advance somebody have to interject on that so when you check down the line in your family your mother was prayerless your father was prayerless and you too you want to become like them you have to rise up and stop that nonsense one person must wake up and say toss for shadow go devil and no further so that lady wake up one day and realize that i would be the end of this adversity and by the time she began to pray she began to pray one guy too that was actually in their family full of all kinds. In fact, people you after you marry, two years you will die. So the woman will be a widow because after you marry within one year, two years, you must have given birth to a child. And so they will not kill you. So the woman will suffer all the days of her life. That was how almost everybody in the family is. So now this lady now came and fell in love. Maybe they met in church like this. They now fell in love with each other. Pastor now look upon and pastor said, to her, What will I? You know, when, when you fall in love, there's nothing you can do, sir even if you tell them no they can go and continue outside of church so if it's church no they can go and continue outside so you pastor say can we labor in the place of prayer and he say no lie and before you know it that's how you continue your thing and after you marry at night the husband is chasing you all of you are playing chinese game at night so the husband is doing like this at night the woman is doing like this in the spirit in the spirit the woman see the woman as a witch the woman see the man as a witch all of them are not witch but an ancestor is trying to you know masquerade so when that lady understood that she knew what happened to her sister when she married that man at night 
she have learned the way of war kaile makabo buying the key that from that night when they do honey some of you your honeymoon is not honeymoon it's prayer moon you need to be able to understand you deal with don't be so don't rush just to like a he go no it's not about that there is an altar that need to be broken because that may be your only salvation and that will be the only reason why a generation can stop the heralding of darkness when that lady began to pray she began to see all kinds of war she began to deal with them one by one one by one one by one and before long enough they begin to hear news from the side of the the husband this man die oh this man die oh this man die oh this one die oh this one die oh the last one that was about to die he shouted and cried that woman that woman this woman wife why did you marry so they now marry a warrior when the day they marry a deborah she understood up on three she could not